Hi DLRs, Joel here from Alongrid, and today we're going to show you how to include a Yale Z-Wave lock to an IQ2 panel. Now the Yale Z-Wave lock works with Z-Wave, so if you do have an alarm panel that has a Z-Wave module inside of it, such as a Honeywell or another, uh, another model, there's a good chance that this will be able to be used with your panel. I would check with your alarm company just to make sure that it is compatible, but Z-Wave is pretty interoperable with most things out there. Um, this particular lock will work with the Honeywell Lyric, the Lynx model panels, most of the Alarm.com compatible panels out there. It's a great lock to use, uh, super versatile, and it looks great. As far as including Z-Wave on the Yale lock goes, there's one thing that you're going to want to know about before you do include it. If you did have user codes programmed in to your lock, uh, when you include it to the panel, it's actually going to get the panel users the panel user codes that are currently programmed pushed over into the lock. The best thing to do before you actually integrate this into a panel is to do a factory default on the lock to get it fully cleared out. And then when you actually integrate it through Z-Wave, it's going to get all of that user information, including the codes, into the lock itself. If you do have any questions about this, though, feel free to reach out to us. We'll be happy to help you out. Now, before you do any inclusion, usually, or always with z devices you're going to want to exclude them first what this will do is clear all of the programming out on the lock to make sure that it's able to be included without any issues today though as this lock is 100 percent defaulted and ready to go we're going to just do the inclusion mode on our system so the first thing that you're going to want to do is on your panel you're going to want to go into inclusion mode for z-wave so i'm going to slide down from the top settings advanced settings, I'll enter the default code 2222, I'll go to installation, devices, Z-Wave devices, and then add a device. So now the system, after clicking include, it's in listening mode for the lock. So on the lock, what I'm going to do is I have to get it into learn mode or inclusion mode. I'm going to activate the touchpad. The master code is uh, one, two, three, four right now. So I'm going to do one, two, three, four, gear. Menu mode. And now we're in our menu. Number. So we'll, we'll have to reinitiate the uh, Z Wave inclusion mode on the system just because it timed out, which is no problem. So we're going to click number seven on the lock to go into our Z Wave wireless module setting mode. Module Press mode. The gear key to continue. As you can hear, so I'll click the gear. So then on our panel, I'm going to click Include, and then I'm going to click 1 on the lock, Join the wireless. and then the gear. And as you can see, it did discover the lock. It's learning in right now. Completed. It may take a little time for the lock to actually learn in, so just be patient with it. And a good practice to do is to actually bring the lock close to the panel within five feet before you include it. Um, we have found that sometimes when the lock is too far away, some of the inclusions can get screwed up. So if possible, getting the panel as close as possible to the lock may help this operation go smoother. But as you can see, our lock did add in. We have some information that we can adjust right here. I'm just gonna leave it all at default and click add. And as you can see, it says device name is already registered. So I'm just gonna change this to backdoor. And there you go. So now we have our lock included to our system and it's ready to go. If you do have any questions about including a Z-Wave lock to your alarm panel, Yale locks, or alarm systems in general, feel free to give us a call, 888-818-7728. Send us an email to support at alarmgrid.com or head over to our website, www.alarmgrid.com. If you did enjoy the video, feel free to subscribe. And if you want to be notified when we post future videos, hit the notification button below and we'll send you an update when we do so. Thanks for watching and have a great day.